It's time for the meanest flower that blows. Hey, Steffi, you don't look so good. What's up? I have a tummy ache. I went to the doctor and got a prescription. I'm supposed to take it twice a day. You know, before modern medicine, people used sap and oils from Spurge to treat stomach illnesses in themselves and their livestock. You're lucky your medicine isn't made of leafy Spurge. The sap is poisonous. Poisonous? Too often, the supposed cure was worse than the illness. People and animals died. Don't give me any Spurge for my tummy ache. <laughs> Oddly, that's one of the ways leafy Spurge got to the United States, as a medicinal plant. But it's really a... Poison, right, Henry? Oh, yes, indeedy. Some tribes in the jungles of Brazil even poisoned their hunting arrows with juice extracted from Spurge. And people from India to South America to Ireland have used mashed up Spurge leaves to paralyze fish in streams, making them easier to catch. Whoa, that's a powerful poison. In the Middle Ages, street beggars would rub Spurge sap on their skins to raise blisters and sores. People would feel sorry for them and give them money and food. If it's poisonous and spread so easily, why did I see some spurge plants at the plant nursery last spring? Leafy spurge is thought to have been introduced as an ornamental for flower gardens. It's listed in most states as a noxious weed because of the economic and ecological effect it has on our communities. You'll want to learn how to tell leafy spurge from other spurge ornamentals sold in your nursery. Are there other plants that have negative impacts like leafy spurge? Oh, yes, Steffi, many. I'll tell you about a plant that grabs a solid foothold on new territory one foot a year. It looks like a moving army. Next time on The Meanest Flower That Blows... Find out more at weedawareness.org.